Hello. All right. Man, I'm trying to get through these these reviews of these microphones. I got a lot more microphones coming. Um This one says 20 meters away. Uh clear before widely compatible. A little thingies, you can get them in different versions. Um that wireless let's see which version i got oh i've had this for so long all right there's that let's see what's in the box get rid of that and look at that Look at that. It comes with both receivers. That is weird. Which version did I get? iPhone Type C. I actually got both. Oh, wait a minute. I got the, the 3.5 too. So this kit has it all. That's awesome. All right. USB C. I guess it's the lightning for the lightning USB-C for the USB-C and then you got your wires this is three this is two I'm assuming three goes into the and this one goes that's for the all right uh, this is uh, you got a single USB-C that's cool it comes with all three Let's see what happens. Get rid of that. All right. So, oh, got a little yellow. Charger's on the bottom. So the box has to sit like this when you charge it. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's got any charge in it. Open it up. Oh, it's yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Um, first taking these things out, there's a microphone on the top. I don't know if this is a microphone. No, it's just a design. The little light there, but the microphone's on top. There's no cover on it. No, there's a clip. Got a little indentation so you can grab a hold of clothes. Two buttons on one side, none on the other side. Let's pull this. Oh my goodness. Why didn't they give you a little area? Alright, there we go. Pull that out. Does that mean I got to do all these? Since they put plastic on all of them. The receiver is a little bigger. Alright, the receiver is a little bigger. Let me go ahead and pull the other one off too while I'm at it. Alright. There we go. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Alright. So, it's got a USB-C on the bottom. Got a little, little clicks. A little uh, things for power. This one does. Oh, this one has it on the side. Two buttons. Three buttons. And two lights. Say one for each one. Uh, let's see. Charging. So all these light up when they're charging. So pull this one and this one out. Pull them all out. And that one's blinking. This one's on. Let's turn this one on. Assuming which one connects all right so that one's connected Ooh, let's see what the instructions say all right there's 
the blinking elementary lights switch oh i do not like sitting there reading instructions all right see so the instructions when that microphone when that why two microphone indicator yes so the front of it is just a piece of plastic and its design looks receiver one led and receiver led moving key two key three so four and five so each one and key one I don't know K1 all right mobile phone computer area all right so there's some more add battery to your phone keep your phone charged and there's all the specs just have to stop read it anyway uh, get rid of this plastic all right so it's connected this is connected uh usb oh all right okay all this stuff comes in the case and stuff uh this is the receiver uh in case you want to use the it on and all like a dslr or anything you can use that but you don't need this this is all these little packs that come with all this stuff so there's one pack two packs three packs so that all three packs come with it you have your choice use this if you're going to use the audio from here going into the dslr or a camera that has audio input use one of these if you want to use it on the phone so if you turn that on you got a blinking and you turn this one on which is the button at the bottom and then that syncs up in the same way with this one when you turn this on it'll show up as syncing up see right now it's sink sunk up all right, it's syncing up right now. It's connected. That's all you see. These on the side, I'm not for sure what they are, but this is the power on. I'm assuming these are volume up and down. But this is the, the concept of it. This is their own. And this one has a light too, I think. Yeah, this one has a light too. Light on both sides. So I'm going to turn this one off and turn this one off because I don't need that one. All right. So put this on a phone. If you want to use a phone, see that has mic Omni on it. So if I click on it, put that in, when this light lights up, it now says mic USB. I'll turn this off. See so right here on the, the meter. So now if I hit the button right here, this turns it on. This is a noise reduction. If you push it one time with the blue, blue is just standard audio. And it will get all your surround sound, like all the noise in the background and all that stuff. But if you hit this and turn it into the pink or red, and you're now on noise reduction. And if you use it for noise reduction, it's not too bad. Uh, it, it's really not too bad. It blocks out a lot of the surrounding noise. Like I got like noise from like the computer, uh, the fans or something around the area. And this knocks it out. This completely knocks it out. It's small light. I see a little, look at that. You can see the LED through the little screen. So if you have it on, you can see it, but it's lightweight. It's pretty cool. It goes into the little case. Let's see if it turns off when I put it back in. Yes, 
it goes off on its own. So essentially you don't even need this. You just pull this out and then pull out the little receiver. As far as traveling with this, this is great if you're just using, well, no. <sighs> okay, this is just a power bank. This is not really, you have to travel with this, this, or this. You have to travel with one of these devices. And you have to put it separately. Can you just do this? Keep it like that, maybe. Stick it in your pocket. I don't know. You'd have to carry something like the, at least these two around. Or you'd have to carry one of these three items around, including the box. And then the port in order to use this device. So, I don't know. I mean, I would have liked to see them incorporate these. Like maybe here or something like that. Or maybe just put them in the side. Or maybe just slide them in the back. They don't need to be charged. If there was a way to slide them in the back. Something like that. And that would hold on to that. Or you, I don't know. Maybe you, know, you can't do that. Just slide them in the back. Like going this way. Something like that. Just in the back. Uh, but... You now have to carry this. You have to carry one of these. And you have to carry this, which you all you normally have this somewhere else. But you got to carry this, this, or this with you, including the box. I um, don't really like that idea. But we'll have to see how it sounds. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go out and test the range. Now the noise reduction is on. Hear any noise? There's a truck driving down the road. All right, let's go back to noise reduction. Okay. And now let's go. I'm going to walk down here. You should definitely be able to hear me at this point. If there's a problem here at this point, I'm going to stop, but you can hear me. Uh, now I'm facing you. You should definitely be able to hear me. All right, now I'm going to walk down here to 60. 60 is about where things start breaking up for the inexpensive ones. This is where I'm standing at the back, and I've seen the couple that I've reviewed so far start breaking up at this point. Now I'm facing you. Uh, it shouldn't break up right now. You should be able to start hearing me fairly decent. So I'm going to move on to 90. Uh, you should still be able, um, hopefully you can hear me. But maybe not. I don't know. Let's go. We're moving along. All right. Now we're at 90. And I'm sitting here. You should be able to hear the birds tweeting in the background. And maybe some cars. But let's see how it works. Now, I'm facing you. You should hear me. Maybe go in and out. But I don't know. I have to listen to the audio. But now, let's move back up to 60. 60 is where everything's probably starting to come back in. But, all right. We are at 60. Now, we're going to move forward. And we're going to get up here. And... We're going to be at 30, 30 feet uh, right here, and 30 feet, yeah, do you hear me? All right, should be, all right, move along, move along, you should definitely hear me by now. Uh, all right, so I guess I'll go ahead and listen to the audio, and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Okay, you heard the audio. Yes, I mistakenly had the reverb on. I was going to re-shoot it, but it doesn't really make a difference if the reverb is on as far as the distance-wise. 
it did sound reverbish the whole time. I will tell you that with the reverb off, the noise reduction was okay. It did block some of the sound, but it didn't give your voice a robotic type sound with it. This actually shocked me because it went probably, I'd say about 70 to 80 feet with me facing away from you. And the fact that it comes with all this extra stuff and the fact that they're so small and it was the distance between this and this is what I tested on the distance wise with this to go that distance wise. That was incredible. I, I'm... I'm wondering if maybe I can get a farther distance by using this. I have to mess with it. But also I found out that this fits in a cold shoe or a hot shoe, either one. I'm starting to test out these with my, uh, my camera and see if they fit. But... Uh, it comes with all these options and you can't beat that. You can't beat the fact that this is rechargeable. Only drawback I got is when you figure out which one you want, say you want this one and that one, it would have been nice if they gave you a bag so you could take the stuff with you. I think... I kind of think a bag comes in better than a case. Yeah, the case charges your stuff. But it's okay. Anyway, as far as sound quality, this is pretty good. I, you guys have to judge as far as the price, what you want to pay or something. But this sounds pretty good. As long as you stay below 70 feet away from... Your recording device or away from this device you stay 70 feet away even with the back even with your back facing it it sounds pretty good it will do everything that you'd want it to do if you get down to like 30 feet and stuff you shouldn't have any problems with this it sounds good the like I said with the uh, with a lot of the other ones is is the wind is going to be an issue with this if there's no dead cat on here uh put this underneath your shirt would work if you put two layers of shirt on and hook this to the inner layer of the shirt and then put your other shirt over top it will stop most of the wind uh, i don't like how it has this in the front because it kind of makes it look like there's a microphone here and there's really not the microphones up there and when you rub your finger across it makes noise and stuff but as far as that I like this I'm not too fond of the microphones that have reverb I can do without the reverb uh, noise reduction wise it's okay when you start talking and the latency on it starts to affect as far as the wind blowing and stuff like that, you kind of pull that computerized sound, like processing sound, out every once in a while, but not a lot. So do what you want with it. I like this. I would definitely use it. I would say check on the price and see if it's worth it to you but this package is pretty good i would suggest just pick the package that you actually want rather than doing all this because everything you're not going to use is going to sit and somewhere in a bag or something like that and you're not going to need it and it was pro probably will cost a lot less 
if you just pick the, the one that you need. All right, so good to go. I will put a link down below, Amazon site where I got this. And if you use it, it'll give me a little kickback. Then I can afford to buy more stuff like this and go through it and make sure everything works. Give you my honest opinion about it. And uh, with that, subscribe, like, talk to you later.